One of the most unique spots on the Mississippi River is just north of the Quad Cities, where every year thousands of pelicans flock to a cluster of sand islands to nest. Tonight News 8 Shelby Kluver brings us an up-close look at the birds and explains the challenges that these pelicans face when it comes to their future on the Mississippi. It's new tonight on News 8 at 5. On the mighty Mississippi. I'm gonna take it slow. There's a spot. Yeah, well, they've been here since 92. Unlike any other. If you're familiar with the river, yep, Bird Poop Island's coming up. <laughs> and that island. Uh, it's quite a family affair. Is home to nearly a thousand pelicans. The very first nesting that we've ever seen on the main river channel. Ed Britton is a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service district manager. He spent years. And they only lay two documenting this pelican peculiarity. This is the only documented nesting colony I know of on the upper Mississippi River. I've checked up and down the river and it's kind of unique. We don't really understand why. It's the same on a nearby island. So this is actually called Pelican's Island and maybe you can see why now. <laughs> Where another 900 birds nest in the middle of the river. They're beautiful birds. They are a lot of folks come to the river to see pelicans. But these pelicans are facing a growing problem. Because of the lock and dam system, the high water levels and particularly the high flows, the wind and wave velocity, it's eroded much of the area. Every year, more and more of these sandy islands are lost to the river. We're seeing a lot of siltation, sedimentation in the river along the shoreline. But these islands themselves are taking on all of this wind and wave action. A couple years ago, the island behind me was much, much larger and had a lot more pelicans on it. But years of erosion have whittled it down to about a fifth of its original size. All of that lost ground is lost nesting space for the pelicans. Yeah, at one time they were nesting on five different islands. But without some type of riprap protection for these sand islands, they're not going to make it in the future of this river. To help, the Fish and Wildlife Service has been working with the Army Corps of Engineers to create reinforced islands. There's a lot of dredge material that has to be disposed of. So this was one way to uh, beneficially use it, use it for another to pr provide wildlife habitat. With the hopes that these birds of a feather they all got their eye on us, their heads are up. Will continue flocking together right in the middle of the Mississippi River. If I say, what, what, what they want? What are you looking at? In Fulton, News 8 photojournalist Scott Weiss and Shelby Kluver. What a cool opportunity to see those birds up close. And the Upper Mississippi Wildlife Refuge actually has a camera up on one of the islands where Shelby visited. So if you want to see the birds and watch them for yourself, you can head over to our website, wqad.com, to learn more.